Hello everyone and welcome to this next LM simulation video here on YouTube. We're back in Train Simulator 2022 today and we are exploring uh, a route that I've been on quite recently in real life um, and it sort of uh, provoked me to want to um, do a video on it in uh, Train Simulator. Um, so this is the Northern Lines electric route from the guys uh, over at On Track Simulation. Um, so they're the guys uh, that have worked on Northern Lines since the original development of Northern Lines. Uh, they've also been uh, famous for doing the Harrogate Loop uh, and numerous other routes and bits that are available. Um, mostly they're the guys from Just Trains um, and I'll have all of their links in the description below. But this is their Northern Lines electric route which is probably one of my favourite routes that they've done. Uh, it's not a big route, um, it's, it's actually quite a small route. I don't know if it's going to be expanded in the future, that's down to, uh, that's down to the, the guys themselves. Um, however, it is a fantastic little route that goes from Preston uh, over to Blackpool. Um, at the moment it goes over to Blackpool North. Uh, there is a plan uh, to get it round to Blackpool South and do the uh, numerous stations on that line. I'd love to see that. Um, I've literally, only a, I think it was a week or two ago, um, just done the Blackpool South line for the first time myself. Um, so I've actually ticked that off now, um, which is fantastic. So I'd love to be able to do it in Train Simulator. However, uh, we're not going to be able to do the Blackpool South line because it's not completely included yet. Uh, so this service is going to Blackpool North. So this is uh, simulating a uh, high speed, well, say high speed, sort of peak time, um, high priority service uh, from uh, here in Preston over to Blackpool North. Uh, this is as it is currently, so this is the route as it's been electrified uh, with all the semaphore signals removed, uh, obviously apart from the uh, the other one um, uh, that, is, that you'll find halfway along the route onto the uh, one of the derelict freight lines that you'll see, there's there's one semaphore signal left, I'm not sure if that's in the in the route but we'll, we'll wait and see because we do stop there. Um, and this is simulating a um, class 1 service between Preston and Blackpool North. So today uh, these trains are operated by uh, usually probably a class 331 um, the new uh, CAF trains from Northern uh, we don't have them in the game there's no prospect of them being in the game um, so as a result we are going to have to put up with the class 156 which I'm very happy to do um, you don't really get to drive the 156 very often um, so it's uh, fantastic to be able to drive it on this route so we're going to explore as much as you can explore at the moment in Northern Lines Electric so without further ado, let's uh, jump into the scenario uh, and have a look around. Uh, we do have a couple of minutes before, uh, before departure. Um, so we're just going to set up this. This is the Armstrong Powerhouse Class 156. Um, looking very, very nice indeed. Um, probably one of my favourite uh, Armstrong Powerhouse add-ons. They've, they've done an extremely good job of uh, sort of upgrading this, making this up to the standard that you'd expect. Uh, what I am going to do is I'm just going to put the uh, the volume up for the game because it is it is quite quiet. I will admit, um, and then we'll go from there. Uh, I do need to just change some audio properties within um, within OBS. Um, I've been sort of fiddling around with the audio, as you know, for quite a few months now. I'm just trying to find the sweet spot. It depends on the game, really. Um, my last game that I I filmed with OBS would have been uh, much the flight simulator. Now that you do need to turn the sound down for because it does get very loud. Uh, but Train Simulator is one of those games that really needs the sound uh, sort of boosted. So I'm going to boost us up to about 20 decibels. That should be enough for you uh, to be able to hear everything. So there we go, up to 20 decibels. Lovely. Right there we go. So uh, let's continue. Um, and first thing we're going to do, open the doors, get the train set up. Turn the DRA off because we've got the road. Um, so this is a scenario by CrankyBot available on uh, Alan Thompson Simulation. Uh, this scenario uh, is called 1 November 62, um, Manchester International Airport to Blackpool North. We're driving this between Preston and Blackpool. 156, 463 and 425 on this journey. So uh, first of which is this one in northern colours, the new northern colours. And the rear one is in the old northern colours as you can see here. I do like the old northern colours, they do look quite good. Uh, right, so the first thing we're going to do is turn the tail light off. We want our headlight on. Uh, instrument, sorry, destination lights can be on. Marker lights can be on. Instrument lights have already got on. We're 1 November 6-2 uh, on the GSMR. And then we're 1-2-5 on the signal. 
so that's simple enough. Uh, interior lights need to be on, so I'm not too sure where you turn them on. Is, is there a switch on here for train lights on? There we go. There we go. Now that looks more and more like a northern interior. Great Yarmouth to Norwich. Yeah. Someone's fair evading if they've got that ticket. <laughs> uh, anyway, so, um, just before we depart, so we've got a few minutes before we depart, uh, I'm going to show you this uh, this route. Um, so essentially, uh, you do include the line over to um, the Ribblesteam Railway, so you can do um, that, that line up from uh, the, the Ribble... Polish Ribble Rail, I think it's called. Um, it has all of this included as well. It looks like a huge route. Um, not all of it's been completed. Uh, the guys work full time at just uh, just trains, so they don't have time really to complete all of it. You've even got the line down to Ormskirk down there. Um, anything south of Preston is not really worth doing that much, um, unfortunately, because it's uh, not too complete. Also, you've got the Blackpool South line, but it hasn't been uh, finished yet. So you've got Blackpool South, Squires Gate. Uh, no Blackpool Pleasure Beach though, in interestingly. Yeah, there's no Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Um, that's interesting. Okay, maybe that's just a work in progress. This is the derelict line that I was talking about over at uh, Porton La Fald. Uh, we'll be able to see that. And then you've got Blackpool North. So, right, let's get underway. Uh, not going to be a long video. It's not, not too far on the journey today. Bear in mind that it is winter. So I am going to drive this train a little bit more carefully than I would during the summer. So the speed limit out of here is 35, so uh, let's get us up to notch 4, get us on the way. Uh, this, tra this train today, uh, even though it's a uh, Class 1 service, uh, we'll be calling it Salwick, which is a station that doesn't get served that often. Uh, over to Kirkham and Wesham, where you can change for Blackpool South, uh, Portland La Files, Leighton and Blackpool North. So that's all stations along this route. This train doesn't skip any stations, so that should be nice and fun. Right, um, Northern Lines. Um, you can get this in two variations. Um, you can either get this like it is now, that's the Blackpool South train. Or, or, which is this version, this is Northern Lines Electric, or you can get this uh, backdated uh, version, uh, which they've worked on as well, which is the original Northern Lines, uh, which is fantastic, really, really good. There are some incredible scenarios that have been made for that scenario using various forms of traction. Um, so I do recommend both of them, but we're going to be looking at the Northern Lines Electric today. Uh, if you are interested in seeing the original Northern Lines, do let me know. I'll be more than happy to showcase it to you. So this line is the current line as it is at the moment. So this is electrified, fully electrified. Um, although this scenario is probably a little bit old because you wouldn't, you wouldn't see 156s on these services in real life. Um, the only services on the on this line that you'll see 156s on will probably be the Blackpool South services, those those lot, which still are served by 156s. There we go, we've reached our 70, which is here, so we can increase our power. Let's get going, and we've uh, increased the speed limit even more momentarily. Um, just to let you know, Salwick is only about four miles away, so we don't have that much time. And this train can get quite noisy at high speeds, even with the windows up. Um, I wouldn't have the windows down even at this time of year, very very um, very very cold outside. I mean look at it, it's a clear sky on a winter morning. I wouldn't say this is uh, I wouldn't say this is warm outside would be the last thing. Um, it is an incredible route. I'm going to go ahead and say that. Um, it contains all the latest signals as you can see even these um, ILS signals. Very very nice indeed. Um, the guys over at Just Trains are, are magicians. <laughs> I think when it comes to Train Simulator, they are extremely uh, talented uh, with asset placement and stuff like that. And it is an extremely highly detailed route, even though it's not a massive route. Um, I, I thoroughly recommend this, and I've been wanting to do a video on it for quite a while. Um, obviously, other things have been diverting my attention, but we are 
you know, we're on this route now. I'm thoroughly enjoying driving on it because I always do. It's it's just such a such a nice route. So, so this this route uses, I believe, the um, OHLE pack from uh, the guys over at ATS and it's also Simulation. Really, really good pack. That um, contains some very photorealistic bits and bobs for uh, for your overhead line droppers, gantries, all of the following contact wire um, not too far from Southwick now so we might be able to get up to our cruising speed which will be 75 and then we'll have to drop down note that the uh, class 156 can't go any faster than 75 anyway so I will be uh, reviewing a route uh, in the in the future, in the new year. Uh, I'm excited to bring to you uh, on Train Simulator that I I know a lot of you won't have uh, won't have had or experienced before. Um, out of Manchester, Piccadilly, driving down to Sheffield, um, there is a Woodhead version of that route uh, available at the moment in BR Blue, um, and I will be reviewing that uh, in a in a HST, a fictional, completely fictional sort of service, but. Still, be nice to uh, to review it. I did it recently in a HST, and I was just, I, just, I thought, oh, this would make a really cool video. So uh, do keep an eye out for that. It will be a long video because it is quite away from Manchester to Sheffield via the Woodhead. Anyway, you'll see as the the route opens out, we'll have a, a lot more scenery to explore and. As we get towards Blackpool, the Blackpool Tower will come into view. It's 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 viewable a lot further away than you think. Um, obviously, this level of detail radius on the the LOD radius of the game means that unfortunately it can't be exactly how it is in real life. But people have to appreciate that, unfortunately. Anyway, here we are, slowing down for Salwick or Salik. No idea how they pronounce this. our next station calling point on this service. We are a four car unit, um, two car 156 on the rear attached to a two car 156 on the front. I like the new sort of signals that they put down here, very nice indeed. Uh, one of the routes that does need to be covered, that has been recently upgraded actually with new signals and bits and bobs, is the Hull route, the route down to Hull um, from Selby. Not a route that I've seen, and a route that I hope might actually appear in maybe Harrogate Loop or something like that in the future, I don't know, as, as they, they expand. Anyway, welcome to Salwick station that I've stopped at recently. Most trains don't stop here. In fact it's quite surprising. I think it's only a peak time stop maybe. There we go. You've got Pendolino coming past. Very nice indeed. Let's have a look at that. I do have an issue with my this this pack. Uh, I am going to address address it in a, in a <laughs> look at that awful. Uh, I am going to address it as soon as I can. So, so don't mind me if there are uh, some irregularities with that. That is Sawick. Um, I was on a service from Hazel Grove to Blackpool North when I was heading towards Blackpool North. Um, now that train uh, stops at very limited stops. Um, in fact, I think it was only one or two stops actually uh, on its way to, to Blackpool. But it didn't stop at Sawick and that's a class two service. And this is a class one and it does stop at Sawick, uh, which is interesting. 
Um, but I, I presume it's only a peak time stop because if the class two services don't stop there and neither do the Blackpool South trains, then what does stop there? So um, this is what I call what time is it dusk? Yeah, it's just after the sun has set. Let's get this uh, train up to its maximum speed and enjoy the beautiful scenery as you can see of the uh, northern lines. Very nice indeed. Typically loud in the passenger view as it would be in real life. But a wonderful train to drive, the Class 156. Um, very highly detailed uh, cab interior. You've even got these uh, this sort of notice board light over here can't read this unfortunately but um, it's a nice little quirk that and go over to the uh, guard seat or second man seat and enjoy the interior of the train a very highly detailed pack um, yeah certainly uh, recommend this uh, as a wonderful bit of DLC for the for the game both the route and the, and the train mostly reviewing the route now so uh, the train is just circumstantial. As the route opens up you can see more and more of the beautiful scenery that this uh, that this route has to offer. As you can see. Very nice indeed. So you head towards uh, is Port and Lafalde? No, no, Kirkham and Wesham. I always get the two mixed up. Kirkham and Wesham and Port and Lafalde. I'll always get the two mixed up. Um, obviously, this is not my my route. This is not a route that's synonymous to me. I've, I've done it numerous times, both on Pendolinos um, and in units, uh, 319s and such. Oh dear. Got a double yellow. I wasn't paying attention there. <laughs> that kept up on that uh, crept up on me nice and quickly. That did. Well, at least we're going to be timely. So, welcome to Portland Falls. Oh, I, just, I knew I was going to get that wrong. <laughs> I, I seriously just cannot remember this station. And the next station after this, it's those two, to me, that just don't compute. So this is Kirkham and Wesham. Kirkham and Wesham. Honestly, uh, I don't know what is wrong with my brain, but I just cannot remember those two stations. They don't work in my head, I just can't compute it. It's very weird. I don't stop here, seems like a good stopping point. This is uh, Kirkham and Wesham. It says it on the blooming thing. <laughs> Why am I still having issues remembering it when it blooming well says it up there? Right, yeah, so this is Kirkham and Wesham. Welcome. This is as it is currently. Um, so back in the old days, as you can see here, Kirkham and Wesham used to have another line that used to go, that used to sort of avoid the station. Um, sort of an avoider line, and it used to have stations mainly on the Blackpool South route. Uh, but nowadays, it's got mainline platforms and no avoider line. And sort of a side bay platform, maybe, for the Blackpool South Line, which will diverge off to the left and will go off to the right towards Blackpool North. So in the old days, there used to be uh, three stations in Blackpool, I believe. There used to be Blackpool North, Blackpool Central, and Blackpool South. Uh, Blackpool Central was on the Blackpool South Line. Um, so where Blackpool South terminates today, the line used to actually continue into a huge terminating station, absolutely huge, um, which is fantastic to, to be able to 
think about if they could have maybe have a backdated version of the roof that includes Blackmore Central. Um, you could have class 40s, mainline class 47s and stuff going off there on tourist trains. Um, that's the sort of level of sort of detail that I that I strive towards in, in train simulator. Anyway, as we diverge away from the Blackpool South Line, which will diverge left here, uh, we'll continue towards our next station calling point, which is Poulton Lafarge. Yes, good, I got that right. <laughs> Blackpool South Line, entirely unelectrified. Um, I'm not too sure if there are plans to electrify the Blackpool South Line. I would imagine so on the basis that it would be entirely pointless to just electrify Blackpool North and then leave Blackpool South for diesel trains. Um, but then at the same time, you could then argue that it's entirely um, illogical to keep the Windermere Line diesel and then have the West Coast Main Line electrified at the bottom. Um, I think it's one of those branches that will probably never get electrified. Um, I don't see much. I mean, they've, they've recently they've resignalled it um, completely to, to new new style signals. Uh, I noticed that when I was at Pleasure Beach the other day. Very very cold in Blackpool it was, but uh, certainly certainly a lovely trip, lovely weather. Ironically, I'm recording this on a day off I have from work. Um, However, I decided to record this because I knew the weather was going to be absolutely naff. That being said, I'm looking out my window now and it's been non-stop sunny since, since the minute I woke up. Which is just ironic, so. <laughs> but I haven't got any plans to do today, so make sure we get these videos out and uh, hope everyone has a wonderful Christmas in the meantime, because that is the time of year. Talking of Christmas, we are getting an early Christmas present from the guys over at Armstrong Powerhouse. Uh, at the time of recording this, the Class 800, 801, 802 and 803 Enhancement Pack, all amalgamated into one, uh, is currently on the way. Um, I think he's just doing the scenarios now, so we're probably looking at a release date of tomorrow. Um, tomorrow being Friday, uh, today being Thursday when I'm recording this. Um, which is certainly interesting, so stand by that. As soon as that's released I'll be getting a video off of that, don't worry about that at all. I've been looking forward to doing that for a while. I'm just trying to think of where I want to take it, what I want to do with the first time I ever get that DLC. There's a number of routes I want to take it on. Oh dear, we're really badly speeding. Yeah, 75, we're doing 80. Come on. So, next stop is Portland Lafarge in three miles. Just have a little gander of our train going past. So yeah, looking forward to that. We've been waiting to do a Class 800 sort of thing for quite a while. My, my, my first plan, and I'm going to stand by this, my first plan for, for to take the Class 800 is probably to do a... Um, my first video will be on Newcastle to Edinburgh. Um, I'm going to do a, a video from Edinburgh Waverley down to Newcastle on... Uh, on the Lumo train, um, so I'm going to, to do that uh, in electric mode, that's going to be nice and cool. For the first time I'm going to do it, the first time I actually experience the train, I'm going to take it on Harrogate Loop, um, which is probably not very prototypical, but um, it's going to be like a sort of a diverted Harrogate service, um, calling it you know, going from York round to, round to Harrogate, or maybe we'll start I can't remember the Harrogate loop, I think it extends now as far as Leeds, so maybe we'll start off on the electrified side in Leeds, then we'll train over to diesel, go go over to 
York and then we'll work all the way around to Harrogate, do a full circle. That would be cool, certainly. So, yeah, lots and lots of aspirations for when this pack comes out. I think a lot of people, and I'm talking about thousands, have been waiting for this um, a long, long time. In fact, I'm very surprised it's coming out by Arms from Powerhouse. I didn't think it was coming out from Arms from Powerhouse. I had presumed that all the Class 800 development was coming out from the guys at ATS. I can only presume that they've been in contact with the guys that are from Powerhouse and have sort of committed to a deal in order to get the, the, the item out. So, oh, just about hit that speed limit. So, welcome. This is Poulton Lafield. Uh, used to be able to change over here to head towards uh, an old freight line, uh, which you can see on the map here. Uh, unfortunately, this freight line is now disconnected. Uh, as you'll be able to see, it's not actually connected at all. So, you can't actually go down there physically at all. I think in the old Harrogate loop, the original one, you can. Uh, that is still connected on that version of the route. But as in real life, uh, you wouldn't be able to travel down that route any anymore. Anyway, welcome to Port and the Falls. This station, Leighton, and then over to Blackpool North, uh, which is a lovely station. done. <laughs> I pressed T but T is next to Y and Y must be, yeah Y is the DRA. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah welcome to Port and Lafalde. So here we used to have a junction here uh, over to the right. Uh, we'll be able to see whether the semaphore signal is still in situ. In fact, I'm going to take the uh, window down just so that we can see. Is the 74 signal is still in situ here. Uh, the signal box at Blackpool isn't though, that's I think um, signalled by somewhere else now. Is the 74 signal still there? Yes it is. Yeah it's, it's, it's there in real life. Um, I went past it actually. It's right there. So I can confirm that that 7-4 signal is exactly there in real life. Uh, the old signal box is no longer in Blackpool, and I don't think it is in this in this version of the game either. So, let's watch us come past. So, uh, next stop on this service will be Leighton, which is a station that I think is very similar to Salwick. I don't think I've noticed many trains stop at Leighton at all, so um, will be a very rare service stopping at Leighton. Ironically, I've been on a Class 2 down here and stopped at less stations than this Class 1 is stopping at today, so very interesting indeed. Anyway, I hope everyone's got their Christmas plans going. We have just heard from, as, as the time of filming this, um, I think it was last night, we, we heard from the government that there have been new restrictions put in place as a result of coronavirus. Not too sure who's going to be listening to the government much, <laughs> much longer, given how they've acted recently, completely in disregard of the rules that they are applying on everyone else, but not, not, not applying to themselves. Um, I don't even know if COVID's real or whether it's just been made up as a control mechanism, but who knows. I don't want to get into that battle, I just want to do right by whatever people want to do and 
know, we live in an unfair society, it's, it's not much you can do. Anyway, you can see the Blackpool Tower in the background. Um, I'm trying to make the most of this Christmas and get around as much as I can and uh, see places. I've never been to the Blackpool before. I've been to the station but never been into the sort of the town or anything like that. But that's the Blackpool Tower up there. Just obscured by trees now. And we're not too far from Blackpool. You can see the Blackpool Tower probably from Kirkham, if I remember rightly. Um, it's, you can see it from quite far around. Um, and I'd like to go up it. I, mean, I have vouched to go back to Blackpool um, at some point during the, uh, during the summer next year. Uh, when it will be a lot warmer, go on the beach. It's, it's, it's a pleasure town. You know, do exactly what you do when you go to Blackpool. There's not much you can do at this time of year. And I want to go on the Heritage Trams as well. That'd be nice. This is Leighton. Welcome to Leighton. This is a service to Blackpool North. Let's get a photo, I think. Leighton's a nice station to get a photo at. As we go, next stop will be Blackpool North. So I hope everyone has enjoyed this video. Uh, as we come towards Christmas, I am hoping to do a few more videos as we get there um, and just get stuff out as we uh, head towards Christmas. Um, I hope everyone does have a wonderful Christmas, whatever you are planning. Um, I do apologise I haven't been able to do any live streams recently. Um, uh, simple reason is uh, I've been uh, trying to, to get Christmas sorted. Uh, I've been very, very busy up here shopping and. and work-wise and everything so I just haven't had the time to do the live streams I am hoping to get them back on track very soon uh, so do keep an eye out for that um, and uh, in the meantime hope everyone has a wonderful Christmas as we head towards Blackpool so on the right hand side here uh, you've got the Blackpool car MD maintenance depot it's not really a maintenance depot it's more of a train wash and servicing facility a bit like Springs Branch over at Wigan um, but it doesn't get used anywhere near as much as um, the sort of size of it would suggest um, maybe it has been made with future proofing in mind who knows but uh, it's certainly nowhere near as big as uh, as the size would suggest so over here on the right is where the signal box used to be, unfortunately no, no longer there in situ. And there we go, this is Blackpool North, a uh, very quiet Blackpool North I must admit, especially for peak time, but uh, welcome anyway. So the platform over there is used by the uh, Avanti Pendolinos that do come into Blackpool North quite regularly now actually, they, they w was a very limiting service. Uh, it, originally but now it's actually used quite a lot so but there you've got the Blackpool Tower in the background big shopping centre and everything there's a massive Sainsbury's here that takes you about five minutes to get from the bottom to the actual level of the uh, of the actual Sainsbury's it's quite funny um, if you tried to rob the place you'd probably be be worn out by the time you got to the front door that was the joke me and my mate made anyway so welcome to Blackpool North, it's been a fantastic video, hope everyone has enjoyed it and has a wonderful Christmas. Um, any links uh, will be in the description below, do check them out. Definitely worth this, uh, this, this route, I'd say it's a solid 9 out of 10. Only issue is the length, but uh, we can live with that. Anyway, so, hope everyone has enjoyed this wonderful video, welcome to Blackpool North. Um, have a wonderful rest of your day, wherever you are in the world, take care. And I'll see you in the next video here on the LM Simulation. All the best, take care, and ta -ra.